Welcome to Learning Lad. In this video, we will see how we can create a simple calculator using the Java programming language. Here we are not building the graphical user interface or GUI. We will be writing the console application. The calculator that we are creating right now will offer four functionality, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And this calculator will work on two numbers. So here in this program, first we ask the user to enter the operator which will specify the operation that he wants to perform. For example, if the user wants to perform the addition operation, then he has to enter the plus operator. If he wants to perform multiplication, then he has to enter the multiplication symbol. And after that, we will ask the user to enter the two numbers on which we will perform the operation that he has selected. We will uh, display the result. So here I have uh, already written some code. I have created a package called as calculator and then I have imported the scanner class from the util package so that you know we can use it for taking the input from the user and then we have this public class called as program and inside this class we have the static void main method which is the entry point of our program so here the first thing that we do is we will declare the variables that we are going to need the first variable that we need is for storing the operator that will be entered by the user which will denote the specific type of operation that the user wants to perform so to store that operator I'm going to take the character data type and I'm going to call this uh, variable as operator. And after that, we need a couple of variables for storing the numbers that will be entered by the user. I'm going to take the double data type and I'm going to call these variables as num1 and num2. You guys can give any name. Now after this, what we do is we will create an object of this scanner class that we have imported so that we can use it for taking the input. So first we have to write the class name which is scanner and I'm going to call the object as input equal to new scanner and here we need to pass in the input stream so it would be system.in. Okay. Now we have the variables that we need and also we have the object that we need. Now the next thing that we do is we will ask the user to enter the operator. So I'm going to use the system.out.println method and the message I'm going to specify here is enter the operator and we will display the options also. For example, if the user wants to perform addition, then he has to enter plus. For subtraction, he has to enter minus. For multiplication, he has to enter this star. And for division, he has to enter this slash. Now, after seeing this message, the user is going to enter the operator. Now we have to read that operator that the user has entered and we have to store that in this operator variable. So to take the input from the user, we will be using this object that we have created uh, from this scanner class. So it will be input and here we will call a method called as next which will read a string value and it will return that and from this string value we will extract the first character so we will use the char at function and we will specify the index zero so here this input dot next function will read whatever the uh, string value that the user is going to enter and it will return that and from that string value we are getting the first character the first character will be present at the index zero that's why we are specifying that here now after reading that character we will store that in our operator variable okay now we have the operator now the next thing that we do is we will ask the user to enter the two numbers so i'm going to use the print line method again and uh, i'm going to specify the message as enter the two numbers one by one and now the user will enter two numbers and we have to read those two numbers and we have to store them in this num1 and num2 variable so here what we do is we will use the input object that we have and we will use a method called as next double this next double method will read the value or the number entered by the user and it will return that and we will store that in this num1 variable now this is for 
the one number we have to repeat this for the next number so i'm going to copy and paste that statement and i'm going to change this one to num2 so now we have the operator that has been entered by the user and also we have the two numbers now in this program we don't have to take any further input from the user so what we do is we will close the input stream so to do that we will use the close method by using the input object and we will call it okay now we have the operator and the number we have to perform whatever the operation that the user has selected on the numbers that he has entered and we have to display the result so here we will be using the switch statement and we will switch to the operator that the user has entered if the user has entered plus then we will perform the addition operation and we will display the result similarly we will do for the other operators so it will be switch statement and the switch expression part will be the operator variables value so now we have to have the cases for the possible values that the operator variable can contain so we will write the case values i'm going to write the first case for the plus operator if the user has entered the operator plus then what we want to do in that case what we want to do is we want to add the values present in this num1 and num2 variables and we will display that result so here i'm going to use the system.out.printf method so that i can format the output string and here what i'm going to do is if the user has entered the numbers 10 and 20 then i'm going to display 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. so to do that we will use the format specifier as percentage f because the double type is the floating type with double precision then we will display plus and then we will use another format specifier percentage f equal to percentage f so it will display 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. now after that we have to provide the values for this placeholder that we have used the first placeholder will get the num1 variables value the second placeholder or the format specifier will get the num2 variables value and this third placeholder will get the value of num1 plus num2 so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to perform num1 plus num2 uh, inside this uh, printf and i'm going to directly uh, use that value here so i'm going to use the parenthesis to group the code and i'm going to write num1 plus num2 now if you want you can uh, perform this num1 plus num2 separately and you can store the result in a separate variable and then you can uh, refer that variable containing the result here okay now here uh, when we use this percentage f format specifier it will display the values with i think six decimal places now if you want you can change that so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, change this one to display the values with two decimal places so that the output can look pretty so to do that we're going to use percentage dot 2f here also and here also if, if you don't understand what i'm talking about right now then uh, what you can do is you can remove this dot 2 and you can run the code it will display the result okay so now we are done with whatever the stuff that we have to do you know if the user has uh, chosen the addition operation now after that we will use the break statement and we will come out of the switch statement okay now this is for the addition operation now we have to do the same thing for uh, uh, subtraction multiplication and division so i'm going to copy and paste the code and we will change the case value to minus minus symbol and here also while displaying we will display a num1 minus num2 is equal to some value and here we need to perform num1 minus num2 so similarly we will do for the multiplication i'm going to paste the code in here i'm going to change the case value to multiplication symbol and here also we're going to change this one to multiplication symbol and here we will perform num1 multiplied by num2 so now similarly we have to do the same thing for the uh, division operation and before that i'm going to add a new line in here and separate these cases so that you can uh, 
clearly see them okay now we have to write the code for the division operation so the case value will be um, division operator and what we want to do now if you look at this code that we have written right now uh, what we are doing is we are using the num1 variables uh, value first and then we are using num2 variables value so if the user chooses division operation then what we do is we will perform num1 divided by num2 now one thing that we have to keep in mind here is while performing the division operation we can't divide a number by zero if we do that then we get the uh, divide by uh, zero situation so to avoid that while writing the code for this division operation we will check for the num2 variables value so if the num2 variable is containing zero then we will say that num2 variable is containing zero so it is a divide by zero situation if the num2 variable is not containing zero then we will perform the division operation and we will display the result so here we will use the if conditional statement and we will check whether num2 variable is containing zero or not if it is not containing zero then what we do is we will perform the division operation and we will display the result so i'm gonna copy and paste that code i'm gonna change the operator here num1 divided by num2 and here also we will perform num1 divided by num2 okay now if the num2 variable is containing zero we will have that in this else part if the num2 variable is containing zero then then if we try to perform num1 divided by num2 it will be divided by zero situation so we will just print a message instead of performing the division operation so here i'm going to copy and paste this and uh, i'm going to use the print line method and i'm going to say divide by zero situation okay now after that we will use the break statement and we will uh, stop this uh, switch statement now here we have written the cases for the addition subtraction multiplication and division now we will have a default case and the code inside this default case will be executed only if the user is going to enter an operator which is other than the operator listed that is addition subtraction multiplication or division so in that case we just want to say uh, invalid operator so i'm going to use a printf statement in here and i'm going to say percentage c is an invalid operator and here we will refer the value stored in this operator variable so here if the user let's say it's going to enter the question mark symbol you know as the operator then it will say question mark is an invalid operator okay and since this default case is present in the end of this switch you know we don't have to use the break statement okay now here we have uh, written the code let's run this enter the operator i'm going to enter plus enter the two numbers one by one i'm going to enter 10 and now i can separate the second number by using a space or a new line to use a new line i have to press the enter button i'm going to use a space and i'm going to enter 20 it will display 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 if we have used only percentage f form a specifier then it will display uh, these values with six decimal places but now it is using only two because we have specified percentage dot 2f okay we're gonna run it one more time this time i'm gonna enter the subtraction i'm gonna say the first number is 10 and the second number is 20 it will display 10 minus 20 is equal to minus 10 we will run it one more time this time i'm gonna select the multiplication i'm gonna enter the numbers let's say 10 and 30 it will display the result properly we will run it one more time and this time we will perform the division operation and the numbers will be 10 and 50 it will display uh, 0 0.20 as the output and we will run it one more time again the division operation and uh, 10 and 0 now num2 is containing 0 so it will say divide by zero situation okay let's run it one last time 
this time I'm going to enter some other operator like hash. It will uh, ask you to enter two numbers 10 and 20. Hash is an invalid operator. So this simple calculator program is working properly. Now if you want the source code of this program then you can check out my website. I will post it in there. So this is it guys for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like the content then uh, hit the like button. If you don't like it hit the dislike button. If you want to say something then uh, write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.